I think the IoT is going to change business models uh, in a number of ways, uh, some more obvious than others. So in the short term, it's very often about uh, improving the efficiency of process and operations. Uh, we talked today in the presentation about preventative maintenance applications and allied applications really being the kind of prototypical example of uh, in, in the industrial internet of things applications right now. You know, we can take sensor data and we can from, from, uh, from uh, systems that are already instrumented and we can use that to improve the prediction of, of problems and issues. We can use that to increase the availability and the uptime of expensive and capital intensive equipment. And if we can do that, then we can do some other interesting things like forecasting, replenishment and replacement part inventory, and increasing asset utilization and so on and so forth. But I think the real opportunity is in end-to-end -end optimization across value chains, particularly if we're talking about manufacturing and process industries, the value chains tend to be long and complex and involve multiple partners. And actually if we start to integrate inventory, production, manufacture and demand data, then we can move away from the sort of current focus on efficiency and are we building the product right, we can move to start answering and asking are we building the right product right now. You know, the technology is a critical enabler. We have uh, technology solutions today um, that enable us to much more cost-effectively store very large volumes of sensor data uh, and to, uh, and to uh, leverage new types of analytics on that data and at scale in a way that we couldn't even five or ten years ago. And taken together, those two capabilities are incredibly important to unlocking the value of Internet of Things sensor data. There are some surveys that, that indicate that 99% of industrial sensor data currently isn't captured or reused to support analytics. And the solution, I think, is not for organizations to, to suddenly try and integrate all of that 99% of data. Some of that data has no value or not enough value to justify the cost of integration. So yeah, understanding the business strategy is key. Having the right organization and the right culture, a desire to run the business by the numbers, rewarding analytic experimentation, that's very, very important and so is the technology. But you should start with the business strategy because otherwise we see organizations that start with the technology end up with very, very complicated, very, very brittle, very, very expensive, very, very difficult to change architectures. And that's exactly the reverse of where you want to be.